certain triangle, the measure of angle A is three times as big or as large as the measure of angle C. And the measure of angle B is 80 degrees bigger or larger than the measure of angle C. What is a degree measure of angle C? So notice how both angle A and angle B are related to angle C, which has an unknown measure. So let's let the measure of angle C be x degrees, and we'll assume the units are degrees. And we can use any triangle to model this situation. More than likely, the triangle will not be to scale. And now let's go back and read the information again. Angle A is three times as big as angle C. So if angle C is x degrees, then angle B would have to be three times x degrees. So we'll label angle B with the expression three x. And then we're also told the measure of angle B is 80 degrees bigger than the measure of angle C. Again, angle C measures x degrees, and therefore angle A measures x plus 80 degrees. Now that we have an expression for the three interior angles of the triangle, and we know the sum of the interior angles of any triangle equals 180 degrees, we can write an equation, solve for x, then determine the measure of any of the three angles that we wish. Our equation would be x plus three x plus x plus 80 equals 180. So the next step, we'll combine the like terms on the left side of the equation. X plus three x plus x is five x, or if we want one x plus three x plus one x is five x. So we have the equation five x plus 80 equals 180. Notice now we have a basic two-step equation. So for the next step, we add or subtract to isolate the variable term. So we subtract 80 on both sides to undo plus 80. Simplifying, subtracting 80 undoes plus 80, or 80 minus 80 is zero. So we have five x equals 180 minus 80 is 100. Last step is to multiply or divide to solve for x because five x means five times x. We divide both sides by five to undo multiplying by five. Dividing by five undoes multiplying by five, or five divided by five is one, one times x is x. X equals 100 divided by five equals 20. Which means angle C measures 20 degrees, which is what the question is asking for. So we enter 20, the units of degrees is already here. It doesn't ask, but we also now know the measure of angle B is three times 20 degrees or 60 degrees, and the measure of angle C is 20 plus 80, which equals 100 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.